In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light, so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light, so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everybody. Today we hear the prologue, well, not the prologue, but the, um, the part from St. John's Gospel. And he speaks about uh, God loves, loves us so much that he sent us his only begotten son to save us and that those who believe in him may have eternal life. So here we see elements of God, elements of the Holy Spirit, uh, two different directions. So those who yield to the Holy Spirit will believe in God, will believe in the truth, will believe in Jesus. And then others who do not believe, who who resist the Holy Spirit, who place an obstacle to the Holy Spirit, who have this hardness of heart, who does not believe in Jesus. And then Jesus is the light and the Holy Spirit is light. The Holy Spirit enlightens us to all truth. And those who love God, those who believe in Jesus, will come to the light because they love the truth. And then there, there are those who do not like the light, they'd rather live in darkness. They don't want to know the truth. They, they avoid the truth, they avoid light. And so it is how it is with this world as well. Sometimes we see people resisting the truth. They're not open to the truth. They have already formed their opinion about, about current events, about why people do what they do. Uh, people um, attribute ulterior motives, evil intentions to other people rather than just really being open and letting the Holy Spirit guide you into all truth. And the Holy Spirit will do that if we are humble, if we are open, if we are pure uh, and receptive and, and, and seek the truth in all things. So it is with us as well. We should try not to attribute evil intentions to other people. A lot of times we don't know why people do what they do. So we give them the benefit of the doubt. We ask the Holy Spirit to enlighten us, or we talk to that person, find out why they do what they do, and be open to finding out the truth, rather than forming our opinion and judgment um, before seeking the truth. And I see so much of that nowadays um, in the world, in the news, in the media, just everywhere, social media, people, rel uh, relationships, just everywhere, people forming opinions, being judgmental, being opinionated, without really seeking the truth and the light of God. So let us ask the Holy Spirit to light us, to lead us in all truth, and, and, and so that we may know and live in the love of God. We thank you, Jesus, for giving us your Holy Spirit to, light, uh, to enlighten us, to guide us to all truth, and, and, to, and to help us to believe in you because you are the truth. And this way we may, may, may live in your love and in your in your newness, in your, your newness of life. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.